Hi, this is Sherry Crabtree with Kentucky State University's Pawpaw Research Program. Today we're going to be chip budding pawpaw trees. So first we want to start, this is a one year old actively growing pawpaw seedling. So first we want to remove um, all the small branches, so I'll just make it easier um, to do the graft down low. Remove the top of the tree, leaving between three to five leaves so these leaves will support the bud growth until the new bud takes over. So first, you want to sterilize your knife. You don't want to spread disease inadvertently between trees as you're grafting them. So we just use an alcohol swab on the knife. This is our budwood. Today we're um, propagating KSU Atwood. So this is budwood that we collected um, when the trees were dormant but had fulfilled their chilling requirements. So in about February or March, you can collect budwood, dip the ends in paraffin to keep, um, keep it from desiccating, and store it in the refrigerator until you're ready to graft. So you want to um, match up the diameter on your budwood and your rootstock as well as possible and choose a nice, healthy looking bud. And first, make a horizontal cut right below the bud then turn it around. You're cutting off kind of a shield shaped bud. Not too thin, not too thick. There, so about that thickness. So you have your bud. Now you want to make a corresponding cut on your rootstock. Approximately the same size and shape. What's important is you want the cambial layers to match up. So you want to match up um, those green outer layers so the vascular system can grow together. And kind of see how it matches up. I need to cut the chip on the rootstock a little bit longer. Okay. So we use the stretchy plastic um, called parafilm to secure the bud. So you want to hold the bud on, making sure that the cambium is matching up. Hold it pretty firmly with your thumb, and you want to wrap this parafilm, which is very stretchy, around it really tightly and firmly to hold that on. Um, we wrap around the top and then wrap around the bottom, leaving the bud um, exposed, at least at first. Now I'll wrap the bottom. And then once you have the bud securely fastened, we do take one layer, stretch it out a little bit thinner and looser, and put over that bud, kind of create a greenhouse effect to keep a little bit of moisture and warmth in there. And that bud will just grow straight through that parafilm um, and break through it pretty easily. So once this bud breaks and it gets a little bit of um, length on it, it has a few leaves of its own, we'll remove this top, cut the top of the rootstock off, and this new bud will take over and we will have a KSU Atwood tree. So this has been Sherry Crabtree on how to graft a pawpaw tree.